that you're meant to be on, like we see here in the moon. We also see a path here in the Ace of Pentacles that you have to take to those mountains. There's a path leading to your victory, right? That This is confirmation for that. And you will have help and guidance. Grand Rising, beloved humans. Thank you so much for joining today. This is Tiffany of Wasted Traditions Tarot. And today is your Tri-Daily Tarot for Wednesday, March 13th. I've already blessed my cards. Let's go ahead and get into the reading. We're going to use Oracle and Tarot today. Find out what spirit needs us to know for our hump day, right? And always remember, I read intuitively, so please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Spirit, what do we need to know? Give us a message for we beloved humans. All right, so looks like we have two Oracle cards today. We have Lost Compass, Getting Back to Integrity. And then we also have... Benefactor, grace and generosity. Wow. Wow. This sounds amazing. All right. So what I'm getting from this lost compass, getting back to integrity. I'm feeling like at some point you've been knocked off your path, right? There have been things that have you've gone through or things you have done that have not been a part of your character and morals. So you are on your way to write that. You are on your way back to true self, back to true north. You're taking your power back. Getting back on the path is what I'm feeling with this lost compass and then we have benefactor, grace, and generosity. So with this, excuse me, I'm getting, there's a chance for growth for you. There's a chance for you to be able to express what you truly feel express yourself authentically so that you are no longer walking someone else's path you are no longer denying your true self or the path that you belong on and there's going to be someone who is going to help guide you on this journey back on the path meant for you some sort of spiritual teacher uh perhaps even a life coach um, it could be a professional, uh, therapist or counselor, right? But this is showing me and I'm feeling that you're not on your, on your own here. You're not on your own. You will have guidance and you will also have the help of your spiritual team. Your ancestors, angels, and spirit guides are also helping to guide you. But I'm also feeling there's an earthly person that is going to help you on your path back to authentic self. They will offer you grace like you've never had before. Generosity of their wisdom is what I'm feeling. They're definitely going to offer you and they will not withhold anything from you because they truly want to see you win. That's what I'm feeling. All right, let's get into the tarot and get some more information. Divine Spirit, what do the beloved humans need to know about Lost Compass and Benefactor? Do tell. Okay, that was that was a bunch. Let's see what we got. All right, so we have Justice, Justice, Two of Swords. I'm going to have to bring these up. Two of Swords. The Moon, okay. And Ace of Pentacles. Definitely 
this this one is the two of swords is telling me you absolutely are going to have spiritual guidance you're absolutely going to have spiritual guidance you will not have to walk this alone um and you will get back on the path to your authentic highest self right With the help of your benefactor, you're going to be able to come back into balance with your true self. You you feel off kilter. You feel lost. That's what I'm feeling from the Justice card. You're going to come back into balance. You're going to come back to your true north. That's what I'm getting with this Justice card. And then with the moon, you are absolutely... It's going to be revealed to you through the help of your your spiritual guide, your earthly spiritual guide, the way back will be revealed to you. Because right now you feel like your path is hidden. Your path is hidden and you can't find your way back to your true north. That's what you're feeling. And you're feeling out of balance. Um, but with the help of your benefactor, you will get back they will reveal how you get back on your path to true self, right? Back on your path to your true north, okay? And then, excuse me, with the Ace of Pentacles, this is just telling me it's the beginning. It's the beginning of your opportunity to begin again. <coughs> excuse me. It's the beginning of your opportunity to begin again, um, to regain your independence without someone telling you the path you're supposed to walk. And I'm not talking about your spirit guide, um, your spiritual teacher. This is this is a new venture. This path that you're meant to be on. Like we see here in the moon. We also see a path here in the Ace of Pentacles that you have to take to those mountains. There's a path leading to your victory. Right? That This is confirmation for that. And you will have help and guidance. But it will take work and commitment on your part. Let's get some more understanding and clarification. Spirit, do tell. Seven of Pentacles. King of Cups. <laughs> and the Empress. All right. You've been feeling lost. So you're analyzing. With this lost compass, you've absolutely been trying to figure out how to get back on your path feeling lost, feeling like you don't know where your true north is, um, trying to find your way home, find your way back to self. That's You've been <laughs> trying to get your uh, guidance system back online, but again, you have help to get back on the path, right? You've been reflecting even how did you get off the path? You've been wondering to yourself, what did I allow to happen to knock me off my path? Right? You you've been searching for that answer as well to as well as how to get back on track. And then you have the King of Cups energy showing up for you, beloved human. And with this with the King of Cups, there is emotional control. Emotional stability, right? The the whole feeling of feeling unbalanced and out of sorts, you're coming back into balance. You're coming back into uh, being even kiltered, especially emotionally. Your emotions will come back into harmony and balance with this King of Cups energy. 
and then having the Empress extremely you are you are on your way to abundance you are on your way to abundance and you're birthing you're birthing a new self you are birthing a new self with this beginning again of your journey back home back to self there's abundance waiting for you right you're going to need to be sure to nurture yourself because even with the king of cups king of cups energy is nurturing the empress is nurturing right and then with our benefactor grace and generosity grace is nurturing you will be nurtured by someone else your your spiritual teacher and you will need to nurture yourself give yourself grace and compassion as well as you journey back to self as you come back into abundance of things that make you feel good that that make you think positively that's absolutely ground you and create a gratitude within you that overflows from your heart all this is possible for you right so you won't be off kilter for long keep your eyes open your third eye your spiritual eye to be on the lookout for your spiritual benefactor they're on their way to you beloved human all right if you've made it to the end of the video this was absolutely for you i hope it has helped you in some form or fashion don't forget to like comment and subscribe click the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos i have for you i will see you soon but until then Bye-bye.